Hey there, in this video we're going to be taking a look at USD export from Blender into Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I did recently do a video from Blender to Houdini. I'll link that video in the description as well as a card above. Uh, so in this video we're going to be looking at some of the common pitfalls, limitations, and uh, workflow from Blender to Unreal Engine 4. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the Houdini video. I'm going to go to my scene layers, make sure that everything I've select, uh, that I want to export is selected. Then press A. Here I've got two area lights. I've got my camera. I've got my mesh, all my meshes as well as uh, my plane. So I'm going to press F4, export uh, USD. I already have a USD folder. I call it military radio hard service settings for the viewport because if you use render it's going to use the render modifier layers such as uh, the higher subdivision surface count or um, more bevels or something like that so that's not something I want to use and I also want to make sure that selection only is checked and hit that and export USD so another thing to note when you're exporting as USD at least into Unreal Engine 4 is it does not take the names of the object, so audio port or audio port full tips, it'll take the name of the mesh. So if I name this cube.003, you would be seeing cube.003, cube.004. So I use an add on that's very handy. I press Control A, make sure at least one object is selected. I go N into my properties and I use it's called the, uh, let me go into my enabled add ons. So I believe it's called the Asset Creation Toolkit. That's a very handy add-on from Ivan Rostrakov. Now what you do is you select everything, you hit object name to mesh name. It might take a second. Now every single object takes its object name and it names the mesh. That's handy for USD. I've already done that so I won't export again, but that's something for you to know if you're exporting. Now I'm gonna close down Blender, open up Unreal Engine 4. So here, I just have a default project. Uh, so you, what you want to do is you want to go up to plugins. You want to type in USD. Now this isn't enabled by default, so you're going to have to enable it. And once you have it enabled, uh, there's a pop-up I'll show you. You're going to have to restart the editor. Now I already have it enabled, I don't have to, but you, you will have to restart your editor to get that enabled. So now there's two ways that you can do a USD import into Unreal Engine 4. The first way, the most obvious way to me that I did, did not work at all. It was very broken and I actually thought uh, the add-on was just useless. Uh, so the way that you do that is you right click in any folder, make sure it's in its own contained folder because it will be a mess. Uh, import. Now I have the USD C file here open. It's going to give you a few options. It's very basic. So static mesh, that's your only option for the mesh. Gen generate unique paths path per USD primitive. The downside to that is that it creates a folder for every single object, which I, I don't see a use for that, but I'm sure there is. I'll apply world transform the geometry. I could not get that to work. Scale, it did not matter what scale I set. Um, it just was not changing anything, so I'll just set that to one. Material search location. Now, unless you've already made materials, and those materials have the same name as the material in Blender, uh, it's useless. It's essentially just wasting uh, time searching for materials you have in Unreal Engine 4. So import. Now if you watch, this is not uh, going to work. So it took about 30 seconds to import. Now you can see all the objects here that match up. Audio port, audio port, gold tips. Same thing here. Anything that has a space will just have an underscore. That's the naming convention, I guess. Oops, sorry. Now, if I were to select absolutely everything, the entire scene, and import, take a second. I'm just going to hide the floor, sort by static mesh. Now, if I select every single static mesh, except for the floor, hit F to, to zoom in. You can see it's extremely tiny, and it does not look at all like our scene. So I'm going to just increase the size there to something viewable. And if you look, it is an 
an absolute nightmare. No materials, nothing is recognizable. It's all broken. It's just not a good time. So this method of importing a USD file, at least from what I've done, uh, does not work. Because if you look in the blend file, this object, for example, its rotation is zeroed, its scale is normal, and its dimensions are nominal. It also has an origin in the very center. But if you were to look at that, which that piece is the um, power knob, if I go to power knob here, the model imported correctly. There are some leakage uh, areas that should not be like that, but it imported in the very middle of the scene. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the proper way of importing a USC file. First I'm just going to clean up the scene. I'm going to delete absolutely all of these. I'm also going to force delete. And then everything that you see here, I'm just going to delete in the scene as well. So that's all you have. You don't even have the player base, which we won't need. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Window, and you go up to USD Stage, which is a new window. You're going to go File, Open, USD File. Give it a moment just to load everything. It's also going to build uh, and compile some shaders, which is nice. You want to make sure you have your meters per unit, uh, at least for my skill, to one. That's just going to refresh everything. I'm just giving a moment here. So now what we can see is we have everything loaded in. We've got like the audio port, audio port file. It's got its three materials: radio, the plane. It doesn't import the area lights properly. They say rec light, but I don't really see them in the scene that well. And we have our camera as well, which imports uh, some camera values. Now this, this, uh, these lights, I'll have to double check on these, but they didn't really seem to work. So I'm gonna move this up here. Now if you take a look, select the camera. You can see, okay, that looks pretty good. We've got everything in the scene. Um, the materials are looking shiny and nice. Some geometry errors, like for example, here they don't look the best, but that's minor. So you can pull out the entire scene, you can see everything here. Some materials don't import properly, so for example, this is supposed to be glass in Blender. This is transparent. However, in Unreal Engine, it is not. So the way you can fix that is fairly simple. All the materials for these objects are actually stored, um, hidden from the engine. If you look here, you can see Engine Transient. So you double click the material. You want to change this. I'm just going to change it to Additive, which is effectively um, Alpha, Alpha Masked somewhat transparent. Close the material and you can see there you can see through it, not very well but you can. Now one downside, one limiting factor I found this something like uh, for example these um, audio ports here, they have three materials on them. Metal plastic and another plastic. Now here you can see just a single color, just a single material there. Now if you click on it you'll see one material. Um, Unreal Engine 4 I guess cannot have multiple materials so you'd have to split up this object by material which is basically what you'd have to do. Oh these are actually separate materials, separate objects themselves. So you'd have to select this, select this material, or better yet, uh, separate by material, and then import it all as materials. And that would work. Now if I want to make a change uh, to this USD file, so you would think that you could come up here and hit reload, and any changes you make uh, would update. 
Now I've tried that and that actually doesn't seem to work. Maybe at the moment I'm using 4.25.1. Um, maybe it's my model, but it doesn't seem to work for me. So if I go over here, hit inset, extrude, bevel this edge, oh that's bad bevel, bevel this edge, select everything, export as USD, give it a few seconds. Now if I come up here, and it's the same file, I just hit reload, it'll give me some errors, uh, something up here will just not be happy, and the whole scene will just hide except for this camera, which is unfortunate. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to delete the actor, which deletes everything here, you have to reopen this. The shaders will recompile, reset your unit scale, and just give it some time for those materials. Seeing as Blender's EV viewport and Unreal Engine 4 can look so similar, it doesn't make sense to be switching continuously back and forth between the two. It should be something that's done uh, like end of the project or anytime there's a major revision. Um, hopefully this is updated so you can just hit reload and it just reloads the file without having to re-import everything, rebuild all the shaders, but that's not functionality right now because it's in beta. Um, but yeah, that's the video. That's how you import from uh, Blender to Unreal Engine 4 with USD. There's also some documentation on their website uh, for how to control everything. So I recommend reading through that. I'll link that in the description as well. And uh, yeah, that's the video.